Hey, yo, what's up, what's up, guys? Zaid here with another episode of Zaid's Experience. Today is going to be an update on this 90 Days of Carnivore with the updated, well, Carnivore 3.0, with the updated gene information, with what I've gotten from all the tests that I've done before, all the 90 Days of Carnivores that I've done before, you know, all the experimentation. So I'll give you an update of my first two weeks. So come with me and let's check this out. So before we go ahead and start the video, please go ahead, comment, like, and subscribe. You guys know the deal. Push that notification bell if you haven't already done so. And definitely, definitely give this video a like. So how has the carnivore diet been treating me this time around? This is the third time around that I've tried the carnivore diet. And so far, it's been pretty good. But there has been some rough times this third time around. A lot of people will tell you the carnivore diet is great. The carnivore diet is awesome it makes you do yes but the first two weeks have always been horrible <laughs> there's no better way of putting it the first two weeks is uh, i've said it before i said it in other videos and i'll say it again your first two weeks are the ticket of entry once you get past those two weeks it starts to get better and better progressively but so far it's been pretty heavy i won't lie so what are the things that have been pretty heavy? So first off, the cravings have been crazy. Because your body, I think, starts adapting to eating just meat, it really sucks on your stomach because you start craving all these things that you used to have before. For me, it was bread. Uh, I used to have ferment my own bread. I used to make my own sourdough bread here. And uh, you know, I was really cautious about the steps that I took to make it. But still, I'm craving that bread, or I was craving that bread. Not so much anymore, even though there's still some cravings there that haven't gone away. Also, chocolate is something else that I keep on craving. It is crazy, crazy, crazy. I've been wanting to get chocolate really bad, like dark chocolate, not even like sweet chocolate, it's just dark chocolate. I really like dark chocolate. Berries is something that I really like to incorporate when I'm not doing carnivore or when I'm doing carnivore with a couple of whether it be berries, chocolate, and some bread. Those are the things that I tend to incorporate when I'm doing carnivore-ish. It also brings a little bit of variety because this could get a little monotonous. But those are the main things. The cravings have been pretty intense and it's been really, really hard. Some of the things that I've been doing to kind of get by those cravings have been treating myself to some stuff. One of those things is going to get some barbecue yes so going to a place where they smoke like a giant piece of tri-tip or something like that that i know doesn't have a lot of condiments or that i wouldn't do on my carnivore diet however i've spoken on this uh several times and i don't have too much of a problem with condiments because again that's the one thing that keeps the carnivore diet interesting for me it's not a thing of right now it's a lifestyle and i really really do appreciate it just if i have a couple of different condiments i don't try to go too crazy but I do try to keep it as interesting as possible. So I go to a barbecue pit a lot of the times and I'll get some pulled pork, I'll get some tri-tip, maybe some stuff that's pretty lean that's within the confines of the carnivore diet. So guys, today I'm not gonna be able to fast a full 24 hours. I, I'm gonna be fasting only 20 hours um, out of this entire week. I've been feeling pretty good, but today I just, I'm, I'm starving. It's really a starving sensation. So I'm usually pretty, good at maintaining or pretty good at like saying you know what I'm, I'm not gonna eat or anything like that but right now my my insights I heard them actually grumbling and so I think it's a sign that you need definitely need to you know get some food and so the only thing that was around me um, because when that starts to happen obviously you start craving everything you start craving all kinds of crap you know and the only place you can kind of rely on with the guidelines that I have right now, which is basically low oils, low saturated fats on the side and everything like that, is just get straight up meat. And the only place that I can think of was barbecue places. No way, look at that guys, that is awesome. carnivore this is complete food porn so <laughs> or to anybody that eats really <laughs> uh, except vegetarians and vegans sorry guys can't please them all but this thing looks juicy they did give me a bunch of barbecue 
uh, but that's not happening. Um, they just kind of packed it in and they gave me some pretty good napkins so I'm happy with all this. This is a, two pounds of meat. Um, it's one pound, two pounds. So this is tri-tip right here. And then we got the brisket right here. The brisket actually looks pretty low fat or maybe a lot of it got rendered with the whole process, but this looks awesome. Let's see how good this is. I didn't even pick it up without it like kind of, you see, disintegrating itself. So let's give this tri-tip a shot. Taking out a fork. Savage. tri-tip is awesome and as you can see salt and pepper that's all it is salt and pepper that's all they put on this which is great because that's what that's what we're going for right now we're trying to get something clean and i think again barbecue pits are a pretty good stop if you know what they're putting into them and yeah sure they cook it for a little bit longer and a lot of the nutrients of the meat do end up getting cooked out but at the same time, I think you're also getting a, a, a good meal in, you know, and if I do end up needing a little bit more, my body will tell me tomorrow. But today I'm eating in quantity. My body, I think because it, I had a, a tougher workout and a tougher, longer day yesterday, I think that's why my body's asking me for a lot more today. So let's grab a little bit more of that brisket without it. Ah, look at this. I'm not even attempting to do anything like you can see it still wiggles. See that? That's an awesome piece right there. And I can't like leave it like this because it'll start to stretch and it'll tear apart. Eating carnivore can get a little mundane. Having a meal outside of the normal. I stopped calling them cheat meals for a while now because if you consider it a cheat, it feels like a fail whenever you do mess up. You know, let's say you do take a step like in the wrong direction and you end up eating a meal that you weren't supposed to eat. You know, you end up getting something and you were doing, I guess, maybe 30 days of a cleanse of some kind, some kind of carnivore diet, you know, an, elim an elimination diet, Walsh protocol, whatever it may be. You can't kick yourself for it all the time. But what you do need to realize is that you took a step back and now the only thing that you can do is, okay, are you gonna take a step back and completely digress and just send everything to crap or are you gonna do something about it and just put the next step forward? Hey, it was a little setback, nothing to it. Keep going, keep going. You know, you gotta rewire yourself in a different way. Um, so I really stopped thinking about cheat meals as cheat meals, you know? I started treating these as, you know, meals, fuel. I started thinking in that sense. And so right now I just wanted to fuel my body with something a little bit different. It keeps me away from craving other stuff if I put a little bit of variety, uh, if I kill the monotony a little bit. And so it keeps me on track. And I know the longer I stay in track, the harder actually it is going to be to deviate from this diet. So yeah, I think this really, really works for me. And I have been thinking, would you guys be interested in me doing reviews of barbecue places since barbecue is like the one thing we can all carnivores can kind of mostly agree on that we can go ahead and try steak houses that kind of thing would you guys be interested in me going into certain places like you know like famous places like san francisco san diego maybe mexico tijuana those kinds of spots and maybe reviewing a couple of spots you know trying out a steak here um recording and showing you guys hey this is what i think about this steak what do you guys think that kind of thing would you guys be interested in that leave it all in the comment section below also the second thing that i wanted to talk to you guys about has been the fasting it's been really really tough because i guess my insulin levels are barely adjusting and so it's been crazy like I've been doing 24 hour fast. I haven't been able to do 48 hour fast. Or I've been wanting to do 48 hour fast, but so far I've been seeing some really, really good results with just 24 hours. I think there's been no need yet to do 48 hours, but I know once I plateau, I will start to do some 48 hours or incorporate some 48 hour fast. But so far I've been doing all 24s and it's been kind of a roller coaster ride, you know? Some days I do a little bit more at work, some days I do a little bit less, but I try to expend the same amount of energy and some ways that I keep track of this is with my watch. At least I'll try to give the same amount of steps every day and I'll try to put in the same amount of workouts throughout the week. So it's been the first two weeks, so it hasn't been too crazy, my schedule hasn't gone completely out of whack <laughs> but I know within the next couple of weeks I've gotten like a little bit of a 
heads up from my work that it will get a little crazy. Keep in mind that you are stressing your body by not giving it what it wants. And at the same time, that can also prevent you from losing weight. And at the same time, it can be really tough on your mind, you know? It, it, it was causing me some severe, severe headaches on like the eighth day. And so far, everything's been pretty under control, but nothing crazy. The crazy part is that the scale hasn't moved a lot. I was, I was weighing in at 192, and then when I weighed myself this week, I was 195 but I don't look 95. When I go into the mirror, I don't look 195. I look like when I was 172, when I was just doing straight up fasting. If you wanna go ahead and check out my other videos, you can definitely compare when I was doing the 30 days challenge of fasting, you know, going in between 24 hours, 48, and even doing 72s. I looked like that, but now I have a lot more muscle. And if you're wondering what the hell's happening, why am I sweating like crazy? And what's that? Is I'm cooking a try to. Come on. But yeah, guys, I'm super stoked. I'm super happy with the results that I've been getting these past two weeks. And I'm definitely, definitely stoked to see what the next two weeks are going to bring. Again, it's going to be the cold thermogenesis week. I'm going to be adding that on top of all this. And I know it's going to make a huge difference because I've tried it before right before trying the challenge and I got some really cool results so stick around for that and if you've been following me on Instagram you'll definitely know that I've been getting some good results because I posted a picture of me and that's two weeks in so if you haven't signed up on my Instagram definitely go ahead and do so I'll leave that right down here so check that out guys but in any case, guys, this video has gone long enough. Thanks for joining me in another episode of Sade's Experience. If you haven't already done so, please go ahead, comment, like, and subscribe. You guys know the deal. Push that notification bell if you haven't already done so. And definitely, definitely push that like button. That way the YouTube algorithm pushes this video up and that way more people can see it and hopefully benefit from what I'm doing. Hopefully they can get a little bit more insight if they're trying the carnivore diet. Apparently everybody's trying the carnivore diet right now. So hopefully if some people are struggling with it, maybe they can do something along the lines of what I'm doing, which is a little bit more lean kind of carnivore and then adding your fats. Definitely, definitely smash that like button, guys. I am burning up and this tri-tip isn't gonna eat itself, guys. Zay, out. Peace.